Beverly Garland was an experienced actress who left a lasting impact on the entertainment world. Whether you remember her from a specific role or noticed her talent at a particular moment, her work is unforgettable. Share your favorite memories or personal experiences related to this classic actor in the comments below. Stay tuned as we explore interesting, surprising, and sad facts about her. Keep watching this video for more insights into her life and career. Your stories are appreciated. Let's celebrate Beverly Garland together. Born in 1926 in Santa Cruz, California, Beverly Garland grew up in a family deeply involved in entertainment. With a singer father and an actress mother, she developed a passion for acting early on. Despite her parents' divorce when she was young, Beverly remained committed to pursuing her acting dreams. She attended an acting school in Beverly Hills where she honed her skills and discovered her talent. Starting in the late 1940s, she landed small roles in both films and TV shows. Her work in B-movies, particularly in the horror genre, brought her recognition. However, it was her lead role in the early 1960s TV series My Three Sons that truly catapulted her to fame. Throughout her career, she continued to act in various projects, making significant contributions to the industry. Actress Beverly Garland grew up in Santa Cruz, California. When she was four, her family moved to Glendale near Los Angeles. She didn't have any brothers or sisters. In high school in Phoenix, as she acted in plays at the Phoenix Little Theater and appeared on local radio shows. In the horror movie The Mad Room, her character was pregnant, just like she was in real life. This made her acting feel very real and added something special to the movie. Even though the movie was scary, people liked watching her because she acted so well. Beverly Garland was good at bringing her own life into her acting, which made her characters feel more real to audiences. Her role in The Mad Room was one of the best parts of her career because it showed how good she was at acting in different ways. She left a big impression on the movie industry and will always be remembered as a talented actress. Actress Beverly Garland, known for her roles in film and television, played a crucial role as an acting mentor and developed friendships with fellow actors such as Don Lynn, Kate Jackson, Bruce Boxleitner, and Martha Smith. After her final guest appearance on Seventh Heaven in 1996, she decided to retire from acting at the age of 77. This marked the end of her long career in the entertainment industry. In one notable film, DOA, she portrayed the character Miss Foster, marking her film debut. At that time, she was billed as Beverly Campbell. Her connections with colleagues and her contribution to the entertainment world, particularly in her mentorship role, had a lasting impact. After retirement, her influence continued within the industry, leaving behind a significant mark that extended beyond her on-screen performances. Actress Beverly Garland starred in the noir film DOA alongside Pamela Britton, Frank Cady, and Jerry Paris. She worked with talented actors known for their roles in popular TV shows like Blondie, Petticoat Junction, My Favorite Martian, The Dick Van Dyke Show, and Happy Days. She is best known for her roles as Barbara Harper Douglas on My Three Sons and as Dorothy Dottie West on Scarecrow and Mrs. King. These roles showcased her acting talent and made her beloved by audiences. In the early 1970s, Garland and her husband Fillmore Crank opened Beverly Garland's Howard Johnson's Resort Lodge, a 154-room hotel near Universal Studios. This venture highlighted her entrepreneurial spirit and expanded her influence beyond acting. Garland's work in film and television, as well as her successful business ventures, have left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Beverly Garland, known as the mother-in-law of Carlos K. Goodman, was honored for her work in television with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This recognition was given to her on January 26, 1983, at 6 one Hollywood BLVD, in Hollywood Ka. Her acting roles went beyond just recognition. She notably played mothers in TV series. Starting with Remington Steele in 1982, she portrayed the mother figures of three women characters who faced danger in their lives. These included Laura Holt, played by Stephanie Zimbalist, Amanda King from Scarecrow, and Mrs. Connie's King, played by Kate Jackson, and Lois Lane in Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, portrayed by Terry Hatcher. Her acting left a mark on audiences, solidifying her status as a respected figure in TV acting. Beverly Garland, an actress, started her entertainment journey at a young age. Born in 1926, she moved to Glendale, California at four with her family. Her mom, Millie, was German and worked in beauty, while her dad, James, was a singer who later sold things. 
Sadly, James died in a car crash in 1961 in Riverside Cot. As a teenager, Garland acted in local plays in Glendale. She got better at acting and even took voice lessons with Anita Arliss, George Arliss's sister, who was a famous actor. Garland was talented and kept acting with passion. As she got older, Garland loved acting even more. She enjoyed each role she played and amazed audiences with her performances. She acted in different types of movies and shows showing how good she was at acting. Despite facing tough times like losing loved ones and the hard work of showbiz, Garland stayed strong. Her love for acting kept her going and she kept making an impact on stage and screen. Beverly Garland's work lives on, showing us how passion and never giving up can make dreams come true. What she did for entertainment will always be remembered and valued. Actress Beverly Garland's life was full of important moments in her career. One big moment happened in 1986 when her Scarecrow and Mrs. King co-star Bruce Boxleitner gave her the Golden Boot Award. It's interesting that she and Julie Adams shared a birthday and both appeared in an episode of Mannix. Outside of her acting, her personal life had some interesting twists. When she was just 18, she married Robert Campbell, a 20-year-old fisherman in a spontaneous wedding in Las Vegas. But their marriage didn't last long, ending in divorce after only about four months. These events show that Beverly Garland's life was filled with both professional success and personal challenges, making her story complex and resilient. In 1953, Beverly Garland starred alongside John Crawford in Dark of the Moon at the Hollywood Players Ring Theater. She met her then-husband, Richard Garland, at the same venue years earlier. They often visited the Crawford home together after performances. However, one evening, she discovered her husband in a compromising situation with her best friend, Lauren Crawford. This revelation led to immediate divorces for both of them. Despite the split, she retained her ex-husband's surname to safeguard her rising career. In My Three Sons, she portrayed Barbara Harper Douglas, a role recommended to her by June Haver, Fred McMurray's wife. Notably, Tina Cole, her stepson's wife, adds another twist to her personal life. Tina was married to Fillmore Crank Jr., her stepson. Recommended for her role in My Three Sons by Fred McMurray's wife, her acting career intertwined with personal dramas reflecting the complexities of Hollywood life. Beverly Garland came from a distinguished family with her father, James Fessenden, being from New Orleans. He worked in sales. Garland formed a lasting friendship with Bruce Boxleitner, her co-star from Scarecrow and Mrs. King. Their collaboration began on an episode of How the West Was Won in 1976. With Fillmore Crank, she had two children, James and Carrington. Additionally, she became a stepmother to Kathleen and Fillmore Jr., children from Crank's previous relationship. Her life and career were marked by these significant relationships and roles.